have a couple of projects that I'm going to be working on that are blocks of the month. The first one is Toes in the Sand. And these are actually triangles that you make two of per month for 12 months and then you'll end up with 24 of these pieced triangles. The book has all of the instructions for the various triangles. I will not be sharing the actual instructions. One thing that you can use to make this quilt is the hex and more ruler or you can also use the templates that are added into the book on pages 17 through 20. So here's like some of the templates and then the other set of templates here. So I'm going to start with the first block. So I'm going to start with the first set of blocks. It's actually these units here where you sew two different blocks in two different colorways. So what I have here is my fabrics that I'm going to use for my first block. And this block is called Baker Beach. And so I have two pieces for my orange colorway. And then I'm going to make a purple colorway. So I am going to clock. So I'm going to clock myself and see how long it takes to make these two blocks. So the time now is 1240. I will come back when I get through various steps. The first step is to cut my strips and then sew my strips together. So I will do that and then I will come back and go to the next step.
back and I'm ready for the next step. It's time to cut these into triangles. So it says I should get five triangles out of each strip set. So let's see if that happens. This is a pretty big ruler, so this will be interesting. Trying to make sure I'm on camera as well. So I actually got six off of each strip. So I have reverse units. So I will cut the next strip. So this time I'm going to stack them and see if they are faster to cut.
So I have everything cut out. Next step is to sew these together into units.
Okay, I'm back. I finished my blocks. I started at 12.40 a.m. and I just finished at 1.24 a.m. So it took me 34 minutes to make these two blocks. Now for this block, I did have my fabrics pressed before I started timing. So I didn't count that. So it actually took me 34 minutes to cut, sew, and press the blocks. Now as a last step, since this is a block of the month and I may not be finishing this right away, I am going to go spray a little spray sizing on and then press it with that because I do have bias edges on the outsides of the block. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.